As we mentioned, we did get some scattered showers today. Not enough, though, to pull us out of our drought. No, but it's frustrating for anyone looking at patchy lawns who want to keep their water bills down and for landscaping crews all over the city. Our Sarah Maki is live at Grant Park. Sarah, what are you seeing? Well, we still see a lot of green behind us, but some of it is veering towards yellow. So we wanted to know what's going on here and how you could best protect your own home. The sound of mowing fills Grant Park. Some landscaping crews taking a lunch break in the shade. But here the grass is not always greener on the other side because so much of this land is overdue for a good rain. Chicago Parks employees tell us that Grant Park grass has a well-established root structure to weather dry spells. It may look yellow on the surface, but they say it will green up again when the rain returns. But some experts say when it comes to weathering the moderate drought, which extends from Kenosha through Chicago to the Indiana border, they're less concerned about the grass underfoot and looking up, especially at their trees. In pots, we usually water small things every two to three days. Larger trees in the heat of the summertime, we'll have to water every day. Staff at Gethsemane Garden Center in Andersonville say this drought isn't enough to change most customers' habits. It's in the same family. Okay. Is this low? But they are seeing a 10 to 15 percent bump in people looking for drought tolerant plants. So you can put these most places. They're, they're very drought tolerant. They're heat tolerant. And they've just got a nice medium sized waxy leaf. But the rainless days do have another side effect. Sales overall increase when people have more sunshine and more time to spend outside. When the sun comes out, everyone is in a better place. No one wants to be standing out here in the pouring rain, <laughs> including. including myself. <laughs> the experts tell us that they do prioritize other things like the direction your plant is facing or how much sunlight you might get over the rainfall in the forecast because a lot of us have access to hoses or watering cans and they say right now that is still your best bet to hit any of those dry spots with the water but of course making sure that you don't over water at Grant Park, Saramaki, CBS 2 News. Those are some great tips. I'm going to be putting those to use. Thank All you, right. Sarah.